Hi, I'm Lessa Logan, and today I want to show you how to do handstands with your ladder barrel. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. So handstands with a ladder barrel is definitely, it's one of those things that's, is it advanced? Is it not advanced? It kind of requires a little bit of energy, stamina, and then a lot of connection. The dismount is where you really want to make sure you've got a good jumping stomach, uh, exercise in you. So, uh, I would say like some people are more ready to do the handstand part than they are the dismount part, but the in and out of it is key because it's all about using our whole body all of the time. So if you're looking at this uh, video, because you've got the barrels flashcards from OPC, Thank you so much. You'll see um, that we have some different information on what else you can use and to prepare and kind of goes with this handstand exercise, also including on the barrels. So I'm going to show you how the exercise goes, and then I will give you an option for how to practice or kind of get used to being on your hands. I think sometimes the scary part is just being on your arms. Here's the deal. Uh, sometimes I nail this on the first try and you're like, whoa, Leslie, how'd you do that? And and sometimes it takes five. So just know that we're in practice, right? So you want to lay on top of your barrel and then you place your hands on the wooden frame. I get asked a lot, can the hands be on the floor? I guess they could, um, but there is something about the reach you want to do because it's not like a yoga hand handstand, okay? The other thing I will say is talking and jumping at the same time are not something I can really, I've, I've nailed. So I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm squeezing my legs tight together and reaching my legs across the room. So I'm not lifting them up just yet. I'm reaching them across the room. I'm pulling my center away from the barrel and I'm reaching my arms from my back. And I'm going to reach my legs across the room and land in a handstand. Boom! I did! <laughs> I almost, I almost had it for a whole second. Okay. So we'll try that again. Squeeze the legs, reach across the room and lift. And then when you land, you don't want to thud. So I actually still continue the reach. So I don't land so hard that it like, you know, it doesn't really hurt, but you know, for those of you who are like, oh my God, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom after this. Yeah. If you land hard, you will. So keep everything together and then reach. <laughs> and there you go. You nailed it. And yes, I give myself a pep talk sometimes. And then you want to reach across the room and land. <laughs> and then, oh, you did it. Now, how do you prepare yourself for that? Well, one of the things you can do is get your hands here and then do a little wiggle wiggle. It's a technical term. You wiggle and you kind of get your butt here and then you can lift a leg so you can practice being on your arms and lift a leg, right? And then you got to wiggle off. Now, none of those things help you jump in or out of a handstand, but they do get you used to being on your arms like that. That jumping part would be jumping stomach, which we do have in that flashcard deck. So if you have questions about this, feel free in the comments below. I love hearing your takeaways as well. We answer your questions live on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. However, if you're an OPC member from onlinepoliceclasses.com, we answer your questions in the members only community, and I'll even look at your jumping handstand. So check us out at onlinepoliceclasses.com slash YouTube. Thanks so much.